We have 20 varieties of fudge filled with Reese's, Snickers, and everything in between that we're gonna be eating and ultimately determining what we believe to be the best flavor. Now we've got six pounds of fudge here today, so we're gonna get right into it, starting off with the basics being chocolate and vanilla. Now these are definitely our smallest, uh, smallest slabs of fudge today for sure. Which even then, this is probably a lot of fudge for the average person. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, I couldn't believe it when we picked up the bag <laughs> at, the, at the shop, how much these weigh. Because it doesn't look like much, but it's just so dense. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like wondering if this is gonna be a bad idea or if this is gonna be a great time. We're gonna find out. Let's start with chocolate, okay. We have eaten more candy on this channel than I am proud to admit. And that still might be the sweetest thing that we've ever had. So sweet. I'm going seven out of 10 on the chocolate though. I'm going six out of 10 because I've got to be reasonable because yeah. I feel like we have a lot of epic things coming up. Vanilla. Okay. I thought the chocolate was sweet. <laughs> I said the whole thing about, I don't know if this is gonna be a bad idea or be a great time. It is going to be a great time and a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually giving that a 5.5 out of 10 though. Believe it or not, because it kind of just tastes like eating vanilla frosting, which is fine, but at over $16 a pound, I don't think it's particularly worth it. No, I'm actually, I'm gonna drop down from a seven to a six. I still like it a lot, but it definitely is not as good as the chocolate. Yes, all right, let's move on to the next group being um, peanut and caramel, right? Yes. So we have like a Snickers inspired one and then a salted peanut roll. Yes, now check out this Snickers one. That thing looks wild. Yeah, now we're getting beefy, you know? Now we're getting into these like extremely thick ones. And then this one is the salted peanut roll. It's got that like the white fudge base, but then it's got, I believe it's caramel and peanuts. I don't know what else. All right, where do you want to start here? Do you want to say start with uh, chocolate again? Let's do chocolate. Okay, let's do it. The thing about that one is that the peanut and the caramel actually pulled back the sweetness a little bit and made it a little bit more balanced. <laughs> when caramel caramel <laughs> is pulling back the sweetness, that's crazy. But I also never want to eat a Snickers bar again after that. Yeah, no, that was amazing. I'm giving it a 7.5. I'm actually giving it a seven. I don't really like it all that much more than the standard chocolate, even though I do really enjoy it. Mm. All right, this one. That one is in the lead for me right now. Absolutely, I'm going eight. Eight out of 10. That is unbelievable. Wow. The texture of having the actual peanuts in the mix and then I don't know. The salt, the peanuts, the caramel, they added so much to that vanilla base. That's that what I was really for. just took it like, it took it up 12 notches. Oh my gosh, was that, that good. The salt was the thing I was trying to find. That was amazing. Um, next round being walnut filled because we have pistachio fudge and chocolate fudge. And while you'd imagine that the pistachio fudge would be filled with pistachios, it is not. Yeah, surprisingly enough, that is just the case with like most, like most like either candy or baked goods. Like when you get a pistachio muffin, it usually has walnuts in it, not pistachios. Now here is the pistachio walnut one. And I could be wrong, but I think that's because pistachios are more expensive than walnuts. I believe so, but eh, uh, who knows. Now this is just the chocolate walnut, hopefully. Hopefully I'm showing you some walnuts. <laughs> All right, now here, I think we should start with the pistachio. I was thinking the same. Yeah, that's the move. All right, let's try it. Bottom of my list right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going five, five. I'm going six. I actually like it more than the vanilla. Really? But on the same level as the chocolate. I'm gonna wipe my palate clean for this one. Smart that, idea, the, because the pistachio is a surprisingly strong flavor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, if you have like pistachio ice cream, if you like pistachio ice cream, it's like take that and like condense it like three times. And it's like, that's how strong that pistachio flavor is. 
Yes, drinking milk today. We actually don't love drinking milk, but for some reason, people really, 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 really want us to be drinking milk all the time. We're doing two things to appease the majority of you, which is drinking milk and eating a salty snack in between. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need it? Not necessarily. Will it make a lot of people happy for some reason? Okay, let's try this one. Walnuts make that chocolate better. That is like the thickest, densest brownie of all time. I like it more than the chocolate one, so like on, on its own, so I'm gonna have to go seven and a half. I'm gonna agree with you on seven and a half. It's excellent. excellent. No complaints, not really much else to say about it. Yeah. Moving on to peanut butter round. Yes, this is peanut butter. Because we've got straight peanut butter and then we've got peanut butter chocolate combination. I feel like this is gonna be like somewhat of a heartbreaking decision to actually make up my mind between. So here's just like the regular, just peanut butter one. We, I might have to apologize in advance for the fact that I feel like a lot of these scores are gonna be hovering around the same area except for the ones that go go so hard that they hit close to maxing out the scale. Yeah, I think it's like- Or, I'm, or <laughs> if we have one devastating one, but I kind of doubt that that's gonna happen. Well, we're already ranging between like, I think like eight and like, uh, uh, what is it, five for me. So it's still like a three point difference. But yeah, I mean, cause I don't think anything's gonna be disgusting, but we may be wrong. All right, straight peanut butter. It's so simple that I'm almost ashamed that I think that it's, it's at least contending for the leader for me right now. Yep, I'm going with eight. I'm going with eight as well, which I think is what I gave the uh, salted caramel. Salted nut roll. So yeah, salted peanut roll, I believe it is. Now let's see if chocolate adds or takes away from this experience, because chocolate and peanut butter are like the ultimate combo. It's like the ultimate flavor combo, but like I don't know whether I'm going to like it more or less than just straight peanut butter. Let's find out. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. I think I like it equally, to be honest. I think I'm going with another eight. I'm going with the seven. Really? I think it loses the peanut butter just a little bit too much for me. For me, I'm just like, I, I, I don't think, I, I'll, I'll be here for far too long trying to figure out which one I like more than the other, so I'm going dead even. The crazy thing is, fudge is so dense, it is so rich, but it's also so soft that I think it's easier to eat than candy. Well, it's because it's almost like eating just like a straight stick of butter. You know, it's like you think that it is ex extremely rich and extremely dense, but it kind of almost melts in your mouth to some degree. I agree. Anyways, now we're gonna try some with candy. We've got this one with Heath Bits and this with uh, M&M's. Yes. Check this one out, this one looks awesome. I wonder, if, do, you, do you think this is like, uh, just like toffee and caramel or like coffee? We're gonna find out because I'm really not, wait. Coffee. Well, because like coffee and Heath bar are like a, are, are, and Heath are like a classic combination for like ice creams, like coffee, toffee, Heath bar, you know. Watch out the face. Well, it did not have coffee in the description, so. I gotta say, I'm having a great time right now. This is awesome though. How often do you get to just like indulge in this much of like the thickest, most delicious fudge? Yeah, this is intense, but it is a lot of fun. Heath. I love that flavor so much. However, I think that one is too sweet. I think that it tastes just too similar to the vanilla. No, it definitely has, it definitely has like a toffee flavor in there and it definitely is like standing out, especially if we had them side by side, I feel like they'd be very, very different. But I, I think I'm going with a seven. I'm going with seven. Yeah, all right, Eminem. I'm sticking at seven. I was gonna say the same thing because it's literally just the chocolate one with the M&Ms, but it doesn't really add or take away from it. If it had more M&Ms, like if it had actual M&Ms throughout the fudge, it would have elevated it. They need to add more M&Ms. You know what I'm thinking? Peanut M&Ms. If it was peanut M&Ms in there, oh yeah. Game changer. But yes. they are mini M&Ms, which is a very fun and very, very different consistency than a normal M&M. Moving on to maple. We've got the standard maple and we've got maple with walnuts. Yeah, so it is adding walnuts to it, make it any better. Like what, what did we say with that? I think for the chocolate one, I gave, I gave the walnut one a higher score. We did agree that the walnuts made the chocolate one better. 
But that doesn't mean that the walnuts will make everything better. Yeah. Now, Pete cut this before I showed it to you whole, but it looks, it doesn't really look like anything. Kind of just looks like a, like a school eraser. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just like, did you see the peanut butter one? Did yeah. you see the vanilla it one? Looks like, it yeah. looks like it those. It looks like those. No walnuts? No walnuts first. I love that flavor with fudge. I'm going to eat. So that, we, we need one to blow us away right I now. I know, I'm really hoping it happens. Because we got three that are all tied for the lead right now. I'm agreeing with you on eight because I love maple. Yes, all right, let's maple with the walnuts. I'm going for it, I'm saying it, I think it improves it. I'm going eight and a half. So the current leader is maple walnut because I have to agree. Yep, it just adds that little bit of texture, that little variation of flavor. It's not like too crunchy or too hard and everything. It's it's just right. Yep, it just works so well. It kind of like, I feel like it's almost like something like older people would like, but like, I mean, we're old now, so I guess it makes sense. But that just took it over peanut butter, which may be controversial because maple in general is a controversial flavor, but as maple lovers, it is where it is right now. That's news to me. I didn't know it was a controversial flavor. Oh yeah. Anyways, next up, we are going cookies because we have a cookie dough and an Oreo filled brick of fudge. I'm very excited about this. Check out this Oreo. Now that seems like the ultimate cookies and cream product, right? Now this one, oh, this one intrigues me. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough, right? Yes. Or it's just called cookie dough. I'm going with chocolate chip cookie dough. Where are we starting? Are we starting with the Oreo? I think so, let's do it. We've got a new winner. So far, that has to go on the top. I'm going nine. It's not just vanilla. No. It's emulating the cream of the center of an Oreo. I would like if the cookie pieces were a touch larger, mm -hmm. but that could maybe maybe create problems with how the, uh, the fudge actually holds together. But I'm agreeing, it's currently the leader. You wanna know what's crazy about it? It actually was far less sweet than both of the maple or like most of the things that came before it. I feel like it was a little bit more balanced. We're in dangerous territory right now because if I'm gonna award something above it, it's gotta exceed a nine. And that's a high score. Yes, well let's see how this cookie dough does. Nine and a half. That may be one of the craziest things I have ever eaten. That was unbelievable. I don't know why I'm not giving it a 10, but I'm going nine and a half I'm, and I'm sticking to it. Now listen, 90% of the people that are watching this video right now, all of you guys, probably got a stomach ache when we were on slice number two, maybe three for the real sweet slovers. But we just ate a piece of fudge filled with cookie dough and chocolate. And let me tell you, if you are a fellow sweet slover like us, It'll change your life. Yeah, you could probably have a piece about this big, like a grain of sand, and it would probably be too sweet for 99% of you. But my goodness, that one just blew me away. Take us into the next round. Okay, so the next one that we have is probably, like this is the one I anticipated the most, because it is two different peanut butter candies being Reese's and Butterfinger. And again, we're coming out of a round that ended up being a touch better than I was expecting. Yes. So we've maxed out our scorecard already. Yes, we're at we're at the nine and a half point. Now this is the Butterfinger. Now do we, we do need to tell them that this Butterfinger one is from a different place than all of the other ones. So all of these came from, what is it? Wright's Chicken Farm in Rhode Island. And uh, the, this one actually came from Wright's Dairy Farm because they only, Wright's Chicken Farm only had 19 flavors and we wanted to make sure that we had 20 flavors for this video. Our so, OCD kicked it. Yes, and that and Wright's Dairy Farm didn't have any flavors that we didn't have already besides this Butterfinger. And so we decided to get it and it feels like a very, very different consistency. So it'll be interesting to see how, uh, how different it is. And I don't think those two places are affiliated. No, so like if you don't, like if you're not from Rhode Island, Wright's, Chicken Farm and Rice Dairy Farm are two are two completely different. Nobody places. cares. Yeah, no, nobody cares. Let's eat the Reese's. Reese's. That is undeniably Reese's. Like if you were blindfolded, you would not be guessing the chocolate peanut butter like we had before. They are two entirely different fudges. Could not agree more. 
I feel, I feel like I went too high now. No, I'm going nine. I think I'm going nine as well. I think the cookie dough edges it out just a little bit. Just barely. Like I was thinking for a second, I was like, I might have to give these a tie, but I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna put it right underneath the cookie dough. That one's just a little bit more special. Butterfinger. I am very surprised at what I'm about to rate that at. Seven. I was going six. I was going six. I, it, it's promising Butterfinger, and it's not hitting Butterfinger it's, for me. It's, There's a slight flavor there. You know what? I'm changing my seven. I'm switching to a six. I'm agreeing with you because it's pro it's making a promise that it's not delivering on. I was giving it a seven because it's still delicious, obviously, but the Butterfinger is almost non-detectable. Yeah, it was very, very mild in flavor. However, I think... If, if all of the fudges were that texture, I don't know if I'd make it through this video. <laughs> that was twice as thick as even the, th the extremely thick uh, other ones, which I didn't think could get any thicker. The other ones definitely have a little bit more softness to them. Yeah. But anyways, very surprised by where that Butterfinger just landed. Moving on to sea salt caramel, which we also have in, you guessed it, chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> Yes, now these, so these are basically what we started with, like that first round, but with caramel and sea salt. Now we did find out in that second round how much like the, the add-ins can change the opinion on like for the base, you know? They can, can be different based off of like, uh, I don't know, just based off of the filling. So I'm interested to see which one of these is better than the other. My goodness, this was a lot. Whew, it's funny because my eyes are always bigger than my stomach, of course. And uh, my stomach can get quite large in terms of capacity. But fudge just can deceive you in the size versus how hard it hits. Yeah, I mean, well, we ate that like 10 pound Toboro, you know? And I think that this would rival that. 10 pounds of this would be more difficult than that, I think. Let's see if the sea salt comes through. Okay. Eight and a half. Nine. You know what? Nine. I'm going nine. I'm going nine and a half. <laughs> I never, <laughs> let me promise you, I never would have guessed that that would have been the one for me to be at the top of my list. But let me tell you, when they promise sea salt, they deliver on sea salt. And when you are dealing with a product that is this sweet, that salt is like an old friend that just gave you an embrace. It is absolutely incredible. Then the caramel is just there, caramel caramel, is just there enough to offer you this little bit of nuance to the flavor. I cannot believe how good that is. I think that if the caramel was coming through more caramel caramel, uh, I think I would go with a 10. I think it would be a straight 10 out of 10, but it's d definitely is delivering on the chocolate, of course, but it is delivering on the salt. It is like big flakes of salt. Like you get a crunch of that salt. And by the way, for anyone who does not know under know why we say caramel caramel is because we used to say only caramel and then people that say caramel felt the need to tell us that we say it wrong. So now we're just giving it to everybody every time we say it. Let's try the vanilla version. I gotta finish oh. this Pringle first. Okay. But again, right now, that's at the top of my list. For you, it's 0.5 below. It's right there though. Hmm. If it gave me more, if it gave me more caramel caramel, we have to figure this out. All right. Let me hear it. Six and a half. Really? I knew we weren't gonna agree on that one. <laughs> that's unbelievable. I was gonna give it a nine. Because I think it's just missing a little bit of something that the chocolate one had, but it's right there with it. The, I just feel, uh, maybe it's just the fact that we had it side by side, the chocolate, I just feel like it doesn't hold a match to the chocolate one. Differences in opinion, right? The chocolate one shocked me. Yeah. No one's denying that. Last round, panouche. And wouldn't you know it, We've got an original panouche, and we've got one with walnuts. <laughs> yes. Now this is actually, this is this is the fudge that we had when we actually uh, asked everyone to like the video, and if they did, we'd uh, we'd do a fudge video, and we're finishing on it. Yes, Seems we are. Fitting. So I guess to all the people out there that liked that video that we, um, we asked for a long time ago, we said, if this video gets 2,000 likes, we will do an entirely fudge-focused video. And it was almost a year ago now that we said that. The video did hit 2,000 likes a while ago, but 
everything has to happen in its time. Yes. It also it also did take a long time for it to hit 2000, so we weren't about to just drop everything and just do that because like it did take a while. Exactly. All right. The noosh fudge. Okay. That is a good fudge. Seven and a half. It is an eight out of 10 fudge for me. It's, if you're wondering what the difference between that and some of the other extremely simple flavors are, brown sugar. Yes, and you taste it. That one tastes purely of brown sugar. Like just by the looks of it, you'd imagine it would taste just like the maple, but it is completely different. Completely. Walnut. Continuing the narrative with the walnuts, I'm going up to eight. I'm happy we didn't do this as a food challenge though. This probably would have been the first like challenge if we had done it in a challenge style that would like, that probably would be the first time I ever threw up from a, from a challenge. It's that much sugar, mm -hmm. but I am actually sticking at an eight because I believe that the walnuts don't change enough about it. But that was an incredible amount of fudge. And I think that we agree that the top two flavors of fudge are chocolate chip cookie dough and sea salt caramel chocolate fudge. Absolutely. Absolutely.